Welcome to the Scaringi Law Lunch Break. This is your time of the day to learn a little bit about the law while you enjoy your lunch. Many Republicans have been celebrating the ascension of Brett Kavanaugh to the U.S. Supreme Court. One group of college Republicans at the University of Washington wanted to hold a Beers for Brett party at Schultz's Bar and Grill, a local watering hole in Seattle. They reasoned, just as Kavanaugh loves beer, they love beer, so why not hold a Beers for Brett party to celebrate our new Supreme Court justice? But the bar said no. The bar posted the following statement on its Facebook. Schultz's is a sports-themed bar and grill that welcomes everyone. We do not promote or endorse any one religious or political viewpoint. As such, due to the political nature of your planned event, we request that you find another venue in which to celebrate. The college Republicans threatened to sue, claiming Schultz's Bar and Grill discriminated against them due to their political ideology. Do the college Republicans have a case? The Seattle Office of Civil Rights enforces illegal discrimination in the city of Seattle. The Seattle Anti-Discrimination Ordinance defines protected classes to include political ideology. So the college Republicans would have to show that the decision made by Schultz's Bar and Grill to deny their request was based upon the college Republicans' political ideology. If the college Republicans could prove that liberal, left-wing, or even more on point, say for example the University of Washington's college Democrats, have held political events at Schultz's, then the college Republicans may have a case that their denial was an act of discrimination. We don't know about Schultz's history of accepting or rejecting meeting requests from political groups. Such information could be ascertained during an investigation by the Seattle Office of Civil Rights or as part of the discovery phase of any civil uh, claim uh, that may be brought by the college Republicans. But no investigation was commenced or claim filed. Although the lawyer for the college Republicans threatened to sue Schultz's, the bar relented and permitted the college Republicans to meet for their beers for Brett party. It's important to note that Se uh, Seattle's civil rights ordinance is extremely broad and unusual. Most protected classes are based upon immutable characteristics like gender identity, sex, color, national origin, and race. But Seattle goes much further by including political ideology. So although the college Republicans in Seattle may have a claim, no college Republican group would have such a claim in Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, political ideology is not a protected class. So if you want to hold up beers for a Brett party at a bar in Pennsylvania, the owner could lawfully turn you down. So sorry, Pennsylvania College Republicans, you're not a protected class in Pennsylvania. Well, that's about all the time we have for the Scaringi Law Lunch Break. Thanks for listening, and enjoy your lunch.